hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing, man? I'm doing great. Hopefully you guys are doing fantastic because today we're doing this really awesome animal pen that you see right behind me. Specifically, I made it for rabbits. So technically it's like a rabbit hutch, rabbit pen, but you can really use this for any kind of animal you like. I did this specifically though for one of my patrons, Amber, who requested it. Thank you so much, Amber. Thank you for the inspiration. Ah, oh, man, let's get this started. Let's take a little flip and look around. Oh man, there you go. So check this out. This is super fun to make. So small though. You don't need anything bigger than this for rabbits, I don't think. Uh, and it's lots of details packed into this little small space. In the inside, you have a little spot for food, which they're kind of like playing in it <laughs> right there. We got a little watering hole and a little section for sleeping, one on each side over here with sections in the center for storage. But you know what? Let's build this right now, block for block. And here we go with the block palette. That's it. That's all you need. Just a little bit of spruce and a little bit of oak, and that is all there is to it. All right, and here we go with the dimensions. All it is is, well, from this block technically to this block is a five. And then from this main block all the way to this block is a 15. Then we have this little outer border section just for details, but it's really a, a five by 15 frame. And then the little outside uh, area over here is also a five by 15 fencing along the outside. But for right now, let's start at this corner and we'll count out the blocks. So start right here in this little middle gap and we're gonna go up by one, two, and three. Then let's give it a space of one, two, and three, and then go up by three as well. Here, we're gonna give it a space of three, and here we're gonna go up by six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Give it a five block gap space right in the middle. So one, two, three, four, five, up again by six, matching that one. Then another three, up by three, another three here, up by three, and then repeat what we did over there. So a three, up by six, matching that, another one two three four five and then up again by six just like so now next up let's go right in front of all these logs and place one uh, block one log straight down into it right there up against the wall all the way around just like so this is coming around also this way so spruce stairs facing inwards towards the logs just going all the way around there we go so all the way around like so then let's actually set up the little fencing right here really quick. So right here, we're going to give it a space of one, two, three, four. And right here on the fifth one, we're going to put a log, then go down by three, one more log, down by five, one more. It's pretty much matching what we did there. Another three and another log, just like so. All right, now next up, let's grab some of the oak stairs, face them downwards, and we're going to go from post to post with stairs facing downwards, just like this. And these are the oak stairs, and we're just going to run it down all the way around. Now let's bring in some stripped oak and we're gonna go up right on this one. Let's go up one and two, one, two, three, one, two, three, and four. And this little step pattern you see like that, it looks pretty cool. Let's repeat that over here on this side. So one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, and four. Now let's repeat this over here. So one and two, one, two, three, and one, two, three, and four. One more time on this side. One, two, one, two, three, and one, two, three, and four. Now back here, we're just going to take it up by two on all of these, covering it up like so, and then repeat it on this side as well. So one, two, one, two, and one and two, just like that. Then next up, we're going to pop in some windows. So we're going to pop in a window here, right in the center, and then we're going to repeat it on this side. So windows going all the way around, just like that in those spots. All right, now in the middle, the next thing we're going to do is grab our strip and go up one, two, three, right there. One, two, three on this side. We're gonna cross beam right here on the fourth section, right there, which is technically one, two, three, four. On the fourth one, we cross beam. We're gonna put an upside on stair on each side, and then we're gonna put trap doors on the top and on the sides, giving us a nice little doorway entrance right there. Now for this middle part, we're gonna lift this up another one, two, and three. One, two, and three. We're gonna bring in our strip and go another one, two, and three. One, two, three, and one, two, and three. And it should look like this from this side. And now let's go to the other end and we're gonna do something a little bit different on this back part. Now on this back part, we're gonna grab our strip and go one, two, three, four, five, all in a row, like so. Our beam is gonna go a little lower. It's gonna go on this side here. And then we're just gonna take these up, one, two, three, four, and match right there to that line, one, two, three, and four. And then here, just repeat these, pretty much mirroring what we have there. So up by four on all of these, looking like that. Then in the center, we're gonna knock these two out and that's gonna be a little window. And since we're here, let's put some fences for windows all the way around like so. And then we're gonna grab some trap doors and put those on this side. Let's drop one here. And then let's drop one on this side. 
Now, since we're here on the other end, let's just drop another fence here and a fence on this end. All right, now let's work on this roof. So let's grab our spruce slab and go right from here. Let's overhang it one, so right one out from that end. And let's go with a double slab, double slab, a single slab. I'm gonna go with a stair facing this way, upside down stair, stair facing forward, upside down stair, stair facing forward again, upside down. And then from here, we're gonna go with slab. So let's go with a slab on top, a double slab, and a double slab, just like this meeting up in the middle. Then what I'm gonna do is, let's actually lift this log up right here on the top, grab our regular spruce log. We're gonna get rid of that slab and then go one and two out, just like so. And then we're gonna go back down, but you know what, to make it easier, let's start from this end and we're gonna do the same thing we did on the other side. So let's go with slabs going out, double slab, double, single slab, stair, upside down stair, stair facing forward, upside down stair, stair forward, upside down again, and then our slabs to get to the middle and repeat what we just did, meeting just like that. And I love that, that looks so cool. Look at that, uh, the way that curves. And then we're gonna put a trap door on each side right there, fence gate and a fence on top. Now we're pretty much gonna repeat this same pattern on this side. So let's do this one quickly, we'll do it together. So going all the way down with our slabs, then we're going double slab, double, single on top, stair forward, upside down, stair forward, upside down, stair forward, upside down, then slabs, one on top, double, double, let's take a double back down, and this one's a single, and a stair. Let's get rid of that piece, take that log up, and then we're doing a little pop out one and two with our gate and our fence right there. And let's come back this way, let's repeat. So, slabs all the way down, overhanging by one, double slab, double, single, Stair, upside down, oops, stair here, upside down, and stair here, meeting on the top, perfectly mirrored to the other side. That's pretty cool. Then, on the inside part, super simple, we're gonna go ahead and do some details here. So let's go with slabs, connecting one side to the next. Well, we can go with full block, or just double slabs here. And then here's stairs, we're gonna go stairs all the way from one side to the next. Then we're gonna go with one more set right here. Come back down this direction. And I'm gonna show you clean like this, and then we'll put a window. So it's up to you guys if you wanna use the window or if you wanna have it completely flush like this. But either way, I'll show you how to set it up. And then once we get over here, for now, I'm just gonna go straight down like this. But what I did put here was slabs every other one, just like so. So that ends off clean like that. And then also to cap this off, I'm gonna go with trap doors on top right here and trap doors on the outside like so. Give me a nice little, little overhang bit there with trap doors. Then, right here, just gonna repeat it again. And there you go, mirrored one side to the next. Now, if you wanna put those little windows we have set up, I'm gonna show you where to do it. We're gonna do it on the last set of steps. So these are stairs, these are the slabs. So right here on the last set, which is technically from this block, let's say, one, this is center, one, two, three. On this step, get rid of these three right here. I'm gonna grab a beam, I'm gonna go down one here, one here, I'm gonna grab a barrel, and it's gonna look good from the inside. So I'm gonna put a little barrel facing inwards like so. Then I'm gonna grab some stairs and I'm gonna go like so with our spruce on this side, spruce on this side, and then I'm gonna grab a slab of spruce right in the middle. And then I'm gonna use a fence in the center, just like that. And then we just go ahead and repeat it on this side. So right here really quick, let's get rid of these three. Beam in the center, one, two, and three. Replace that with a barrel, make sure it's sideways, there we go. And then we got our stairs going this way, stairs going this way as placeholders. Got a little slab there and a fence, just like so. Now we're almost done. Right here, we're gonna go with some stairs. I'm gonna go upside down stairs, every other one right here on this line. Then I'm gonna go with slabs in between. Then I'm gonna put some trap doors facing forward on all of these, and then trap doors back here to give you the same look we have going right here on the side of the roof. Then last little bit, we're gonna grab some fences and some gates on this side, and we're gonna drop these down just like so. So I'm going with fence, fence, gates in the middle, fence, fence, gate, fence, fence, gates in the middle. Again, middle with the gate, two of the fences, two fences on each side and gates on the side there. Then I'm gonna grab slabs and put those on the exposed log pieces so these bunnies don't get out. And you're pretty much good to go. Last little bit here, we're just gonna put a little lantern hanging from that uh, little fence we have and a button in the center. 
We can also add lights anywhere. You can put some on the front just to keep that illuminated. And then last but not least, we can put one more hanging right there with our button in the center. Now another little thing on the inside here, just to dress this up just a little bit, I'm gonna show you what to do. So right here, we're gonna grab just three gates going from this post to that post. Three more gates from this side to that side. Now up here it looks good, but we can make it look a little bit better, a little bit uh, more detailed. So let's grab our slabs of our oak. And I'm gonna go down here, let's go one and two on this corner, one and two here. I'm gonna get rid of this little middle section and put a slab on the top, get rid of the middle section and a slab on the top. It doesn't affect the outside part, but it gives you this nice little curve to it like that. I'm also gonna lower this slab here of our spruce and look at that nice little curve it gives us right there. That is really, really cool. Then to continue that theme, I'm gonna go down this way and just put slabs every other one going down this direction. And then going back down this way, slabs every other one going down this way. So we have this thing looking really cool with that curve. Also for some extra lights, I'm gonna hang those from the barrels we placed right there. And then we have ourselves a nice little ceiling on that. I love that. Now right here on the inside, I have a nice little table here. I'm just gonna put a stair upside down on this side, another one upside down here. And then we can put a little slab in the center. Then we have barrels on each side with a little chest in the center. Flower pots with some flowers would also look pretty good, I think. Uh, and you can put pretty much any flower. So right here, flower on one side. Let me change it up, put another flower right here. And another flower on this side. <laughs> there we go. Now for this section here is where I have our little feeding tray. So for this one, I have just composters facing down. I then just put any kind of either a plant or a vegetable, whatever, anything in here, bush, and uh, give it a little bit just to show there's some food in here and put different levels to show they've been eating from some of these. And then over here, uh, really super simple. I just dug these three out. I went ahead and I took these out. I put some of the regular old planks or double slab of spruce, then a trap door on each end. And then also we have, well, actually you don't have to put that part. Just trap doors going like this. And then I got rid of these here and I put trapdoors on the bottom. So we have a nice little area here and then we can just throw water, one, two, and three. And there we go, a little watering tray on the bottom. But there you go, that is it, that is all there is to it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this little animal pen, little rabbit hutch there. Oh man, thank you so much again to Amber for that suggestion and the inspiration to make this thing happen. But that's all there is to it. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Let me know if there's anything you wanna see coming up in another tutorial, Let's Build. I'm down to do it, but I'm out of here for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next Minecraft video. Goodbye.